she's probably a side sleeper and that's why her face looks like that. Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new scene. <laughs> it looks a little different because I just moved. I'm finally at the new place. Well, technically the old place. If you don't know, um, I was living with Samantha, who is my cousin and her family. I was living with them for about a year and a half and um, they decided to move out of state. They did offer for me to come with them and it would have been a fun adventure, um, but I decided not to go. So for the time being, I actually moved back in with my parents. So um, I have my old room back. <laughs> I'm mostly unpacked, but um, I'm still trying to figure out like how I'm going to do these videos. I kind of like this setup. This is like my mom put these up when I was gone uh, instead of um, just having like an open closet because um, we took off like the sliding doors. We put she put these uh, curtains on and this is literally it's just my closet. So I've got my clothes hidden back here and like all of my <laughs> those are all the dolls I still have to review. No spoilers. So anyway, um, I kind of like this. I think that I, I might keep this set up. Also, the way I have things set up, I'm facing my window, so this is all natural light coming in, and I don't have to set up my lights. Um, as long as I film early enough in the day, I don't have to set up my filming lights, so um, that's good. <laughs> it makes filming so much easier, and it takes up a lot less room and everything. Anyway, that's not why we're here. We are here to talk about some dolls, and I'm really excited because this week I'm going to be bringing you three videos, not one, not two, three videos, um, because I am returning back to my favorite, my all-time favorite doll line, which, if you haven't guessed already by looking at the title and seeing the thumbnail, is Ever After High. Ever After High really is my favorite doll line. Um, I love Monster High almost as much, but I'm really into, like, fairy tales and stuff like that. Um, and I just, I, uh, they really resonate with me. I'm actually going to be taking a look at one of my favorite uh, collections or releases or whatever you want to call it, which is Spring Unsprung. And I have the entire collection here. Oh, geez. <laughs> just, let me show you. Oh, there's two more. Oh, and there's, this is going to be fun. There's a huge glare from the window. But anyway, yep, I have, those oh, things are falling. I have the entire collection to share with you guys. So, and I've actually had these for a while. Um, I got them back. I, I got these at Toys R Us. So if that tells you how long it's been, <laughs> um, I, I got these back when Toys R Us was still open in the United States. Um, I know that it was still open in Canada and some other countries, but um, here it did, uh, Toys R Us did go out of business um, and that was very sad for me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I actually picked all of these up from Toys R Us. I might have gotten like one or two of them from um, different locations. Uh, the, oh, I had to get one of them from Walmart because I, I believe Kitty is a was a Walmart exclusive. So this is the the Kitty Cheshire. This is really blown out. I'm gonna have to see in editing if it like if you can even see this. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try and play with the settings because this is really really bright. Um, and I'm so sorry if you can't actually see this, but. But uh, maybe, hold on, let me try something. Okay, so I just kind of closed part of my curtains, so it's not quite as bright. Um, but there you go, you can kind of see a little bit better or a little easier. Uh, this is the Kitty Cheshire. She was a Walmart exclusive, I believe, so I had to pick her up at Walmart. Um, and I might have gotten some of the other ones from Walmart as well, but I think that pretty much the majority of these I got at Toys R Us. This week is the last week of spring on the calendar anyway. <laughs> so starting next week, we are officially in summer for this year. Since this is the last week of spring, even though it is starting to get really hot in California already, um, I figured let's take a look at the Spring Unsprung line. Plus, I've been holding on to these for a really long time, um, waiting to open them on a video. I am a completionist and I, I own almost every Ever After High doll. The only ones I don't have are the getting fairest ones. I have Maddie because she's my favorite character from Ever.
Forever After High, um, so I have her doll from the Getting Ferris line, but I don't have any of the other dolls from Getting Ferris, and I really want to get those to complete my collection. I think I'm missing maybe one or two from the Hattastic Tea Party line, and there might be one other one that I'm... Oh, uh, there is a, uh, like a Throne Coming Raven, I think. It's either Throne Coming or Legacy Day. I don't remember which one it is, because I have one, and I'm missing the other. Um, but I have almost all of them. I also don't have the budget ones, because um, I didn't really care for the ones that didn't have articulation, so those ones I don't have. I'm not a huge, like, fan of the play sets, and this is, you know, in order to get this doll, this Lizzie doll, she comes in this play set, so if you wanted to get her, she was more ex expensive because she comes with the book and everything. Um, and normally I don't get play sets because I don't need them. I don't have any use for them. Um, but what I've been doing is I'll get them for the doll and then I give the play sets to like my niece and nephew so they can play with them with their toys and their dolls. But um, yeah, so anyway, so I'm going to actually do three videos. I'm going to do two dolls per video since there are six of them in total. That'll, that way it's just not one big long video, which this is already turning out to be because I'm talking a lot. <laughs> Anyway, let me go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to start off with Cedar and Cerise, which, oh, that maybe wasn't the best choice for <laughs> two in the same video. Um, maybe it was. I don't know, because their names are so similar. I count, count it. How many times do I get the names wrong or something like that and put a comment down below letting me know how many times I either switched their names or said the wrong name. Anyway, so this is Cedar Wood. She is daughter of Pinocchio. Um, let me zoom in a little bit so that way you get like a more clear image. Um, obviously, I'm going to take them all out of the box so that way you can see a little bit better. Um, each of the boxes have the Spring Unsprung logo here in the top corner. And this was back when they still made all of the Ever After High boxes kind of look like books. So it's kind of got that book motif to it. Um, and I really like, I really like the aesthetic of this line. Everything is like black and white with pops of color. So you can kind of see all of like the, it kind of looks like sketches and watercolors because this is meant to be like designed by Lizzie Hearts. Oh, here's the Ever After High logo. Um, and then it shows that there's, the show was on Netflix. Oh, and it has a, a ring for you, which I don't think will fit my fingers, but we'll check it out. They each come with a ring. Um, up here, there's some artwork of each of the, the characters. So that was Cedar and then for Cerise, here is Cerise, and um, here's her artwork. I love Cerise's artwork. I just think she's so pretty. Um, and then on the back of the box, you can see this is the sketches. The story behind this is you've got the um, Spring Ferris, I think is what it's called, or something like that. Um, it's some, some holiday that they celebrate. It is not called Spring Unsprung. It's called Spring Ferris, I believe. Um, I have to rewatch the cartoon. I'm not too sure. The story is that Lizzie Hartz is supposed to be the one who dis who designed these outfits. And then on the back, there is like the sketches of what she came up with, with the, um, the, concept art and stuff like that and it says like cerise hood um black and white and red all over <laughs> i love that um and then it's got like little pieces of it looks like little pieces of tape here with little like notes kind of added to it so it's like um little red sparkle hood um bunches and berries perfect for hiding from wolves white wildflowers beautiful yet untamed perfect and then here is the sketch wait and then here is the back of the box for cedar. It is so light. There, you can kind of see it. The sketch is just so light. Um, but you can kind of see cedars here. And so hers says coral streaks. And then in parentheses, it says coral leaves on the tum tum trees. So I guess they have like trees in Ever After High that are like the color of the streaks in her hair. Um, and then like floral later hosen stays true to original story. Wooden handbag with peony blossoms. So like there's a lot of thought that went behind the designs of these. And just like look how elaborate they are. I love these. But yeah, if you look at just like how much detail, and we're going to see, like I said, we'll see it a little better once I get them out of the box. In fact, let me just stop talking about it. Let's get them out of the box so that way we can take a closer look and we'll be able to see the details a lot better without the glare. <laughs> I'll be right back. 
All right, and here they are out of the box. And these dolls are stunning. So, okay, really quick, let me show you what they come with. So for Cedar, we have this ring right here, which is kind of like, they said what it was on the back of the box and I don't remember what it was. But anyway, so it's kind of like this like aged gold or, or, you know, like, yeah, whatever kind of color it is. It's a really teeny tiny ring. It kind of fits on my pinky. <laughs> Um, but anyway, she could probably wear it as, a, I don't know, like a ankle bracelet or a necklace. I don't know. A hair accessory. We could, uh, I'll do something with that. Um, but anyway, she also comes with a brush. You guys remember when they came with brushes? Oh my gosh, is this going to focus? I don't, I don't know. It's not doing the autofocus thing anymore. But um, <laughs> anyway, so she has a golden brush. Um, also, the dolls did come with stands. This is back when they all came with stands. Um, and I love it. Um, and then they each came with a little bookmark. This is the uh, little charm that she has. It's kind of like a little Jiminy Cricket there for her charm. And um, if I open this up... You see, like, a picture of the Spring Fairest Festival map thing. Um, oh, yeah, it is called Spring Fairest. So, yeah, so basically, and this, I think, is the same for both of them. Um, and then on the back here, it's, like, the flyer or, like, the invitation to the Spring Fairest Festival. And it tells you, like, all the things that are going on. And then um, it's got, like, a little journal entry here. Once again, it's way too bright. You're probably not going to be able to read that. Um, but it's got, like, a journal entry here from the character. So I actually still have every single bookmark that from all of my dolls that um, I ever got. I have them, like in a baggie and they're just kind of stacked up. Every bookmark, every, uh, like Monster High had the little journals and stuff like that. I think some of the dolls that I have, like the DC Superhero Girls, had that little membership card and stuff. I have all of them. I haven't read through all of them. In fact, majority of them I have not read through, <laughs> but I still have them all. Anyway, so here is Cedar and look at her face. Hold on, if I zoom in, it'll actually do a better job at showing you her face. There we go. There she is. Oh my gosh, look at that face. I don't know why, but almost every Cedar doll that I own has a slightly wonky eye, and it's always this eye is a little higher up than the other one. And I don't know what it is with Cedar, like why she's always like that, or why I just happen to get the one that looks like that. But um, I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> it's no longer a wonky eye. It's just, you know, nobody's face is perfectly symmetrical. She She's probably a side sleeper and that's why her face looks like that. But <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, she has these like colors in her hair, the pink and purple or the coral and purple. And I really like it. I just, I kind of want to fix her hair, like take this down and fix her hair to look like it does in the box art. Cause here it is in the box art and like her hair kind of like the colored streaks are like bangs that kind of come forward. And I really like the way that the style looks like. So I might actually restyle her or at least restyle her hair to look a little bit more like this. But anyway, so here she is. I love her makeup. It's very frosty, very purple. Um, and then they all have these like molded flower crowns. I, I like that they have painted on details because later on in Ever After High's existence, they kind of stopped doing that at some point. Um, she has earrings, they're gold. She even has like, like this, these cool like bracelets. I don't even know like what's these like gauntlet style things that I really like. And then she has a ring. Look at this back when they came with rings, like these little teeny de details. And what is that? It's really hard to tell, but it's just the same kind of flower as this, but it's just in the coral color for the, the plastic they used. Um, and then she came with this handbag, which once again, like they put a lot of thought into the design of these. Like if you look at this handbag, it's like a wooden handbag and it kind of reminds me of something you'd find in Geppetto's workshop, but it has the flowers on it because, you know, spring fairest. And yeah, like here's, she even had like, they have the flowers kind of going throughout. So like on her shoulder pads, the later hosen, because you know, P Pinocchio is a German story. Um, and then she's got like this pretty like wood grain pattern on her dress. And then like the underskirt and the leggings have these different flowers for the spring unsprung. And then down to like my favorite part of the doll. <laughs> look at these shoes. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Hold on. I, I really want to look at the detail here. Look at that molded detail. Look at that. It looks like 
wood and like sticks and branches and stuff like that. And then like it looks like the shoe was straight up carved from a piece of wood. It just looks so cool. These are so good. I really, really like these shoes. And the fact that they're kind of like this gladiator style, you know, like this giant, you know, these big sandals and everything with the matching flowers on the front. And I really like just the overall color scheme because the color scheme is like black and white, but then with these pops of color. And I'm really, really liking that. So anyway, so that is Cedar. Let's go ahead and take a look at Cerise. Now, um, I did want to point out Cerise is the taller body mold. So if you see them kind of standing next to each other, granted, Cedar's shoes are like those platform things. So they are really making her taller. But um, Cerise is the taller Ever After High body. So um, that's why she is actually taller, has longer legs. And um, I think the torso is the same, but the, the legs and maybe the arms are longer. I don't know. But um, anyway, so let's take a look at that. Um, she also comes with a brush. Hers is silver, though. And, you know, back when they, they were doing like the royal versus rebel thing. So is Cedar a royal? Because she's got gold. I don't know if maybe they just did that to match her like her color scheme. But usually they do the gold colors to go for like the royals and then the silver goes for the rebels. And I know that um, Cerise is definitely a rebel. So I don't know. Anyway, so here is Cerise's ring. I like this. It's kind of like berries and um, like there's not really any flowers. This kind of looks like a, a, a stick, like a branch with berries on it or maybe like a grapevine or something. I'm not too sure what it's supposed to be, but that's what it looks like to me. Um, and then, of course, she came with a silver stand that matches. Um, and then here is her bookmark. She's got a basket for her charm. Hold on, let me zoom in so you can see this. But um, there you go. So she's got like a golden basket because, you know, Little Red Riding Hood. And then when you open this up, it's pretty much the same thing. So you've got the, the map of the Spring Fairest festival and then on the back here is like the same flyer uh the only thing oops i'm knocking dolls over the only thing that's really different is her little blurb here uh this one is written by cerise it's basically like her telling you about the spring fairest so i'm just gonna bring this down here so i can show you the doll a little easier um, now this one i realized i did not get at um toys r us when i was opening her i saw in the back of the box a sticker for ross so i think i picked she was the last one i added to the collection and i got her much later after i got the rest of them um, and i got her at ross for a discounted price which was nice so here is cerise she is so gorgeous i love her hair um, it's just, I love the fact that it has like the streaks of purple in it. She normally has the streaks of white and her hair is normally straight, but this is kind of more cur curly or wavy. So I actually like that to be, you know, the, that little difference that they added. Cerise somehow has become like one of my favorite dolls from Ever After High to collect. I don't know why. My favorite color is not red. <laughs> I love cool tones. I love turquoise and purple. Um, so, like, those are my favorite colors, but, like, her main color is red. Um, but there's something about the Cerise dolls that just I always find very beautiful, and I love the Little Red Riding Hood aesthetic. Um, she does, in fact, have a sparkly Red Riding Hood in the back here. It was kind of, like, in, in the box, it was kind of squished like this, so it was kind of hard to see, but I don't know. It, it it would fit if she didn't have this headband. Hold on. Let me just see if I can. There we go. So she she's kind of wearing it. And then she still has her flower headband there and her hair can come out the back. I Whoever designed this is such a smart idea. Like, I love this because, um, you know, the fact that a doll can still wear a hood even if they have hair. Because on this scale, let's be real, it would look kind of weird having all the hair, like, stuffed in the hood. But um, she has these amazing shoulder pads. I love this. These like bramble berries. I don't even know like what kind of berries they are. They didn't specify, but the molded berries and everything, which you can kind of see, like these are all flowers here, but on the back, well, I guess it's all flowers, but like the, the painted details, the little red parts are actually berries. So the rest is like flowers and leaves, but then the little red dots are berries. So, and also look at her makeup. I, you know what? I want to take a chance and really admire the makeup. I just think she is so gorgeous 
with her like kind of like a smoky eye and it goes from like cool browns to like a warm coral red color and that dark berry lip oh just so pretty and i don't think i did that a good job at showing you cedars let's see here is cedars makeup here up close and it's just a lot more purple and mauve and she always has that little like heart kind of shape uh in the middle kind of like uh, C.A. Cupid has. I don't know if her other dolls have it or if it's just the Spring Unsprung. Cedar also comes with these, um, oh dang it, Ceres. Ah, <laughs> I caught that one. Anyway, I called her C Cedar, but anyway, it's Ceres. Anyway, she has these earrings. Ooh, it's not wanting to focus. There you go, focus. And so I don't even know, what are these earrings supposed to be? I mean, her whole thing is kind of berries and these might be vines. I'm not sure, but they're cute. I like them. I'm not a huge fan of dolls with earrings because if you look at the hair right here, it's getting caught on the earring and it always gets messed up. So especially if there's like a really pretty hairstyle, um, I, I'm not a fan of earrings on dolls just for that reason. Now let's move down to her outfit. I love this. This like buffalo plaid kind of like, I don't even know, like this elbow length sleeve style and it's kind of got a, like a wrap front that's held together with a, a belt and then she's got it, it it's kind of like a jacket almost or a coat and then it's got this this silvery thing so it almost looks like the hood is underneath the jacket and then it, so it's like two layers and then she's got this little mini skirt here and then she has these beautiful leggings oh you know what this is probably what her earrings are whatever this is these like branches with the little blossoms or like flowers on them that's probably what her earrings are but i love the combination of like the purple and red i think they found a purple and a red that go well together because a lot of times purple and red doesn't always go well together um but ever after high seems to use that combination a lot and they found a way to make it work <laughs> so um anyway so going down here you can see her shoes so once again these are amazing amazing shoes look at the details on those shoes with all of like the buckles and everything and then like the flowers and like the cutouts like are you kidding me that's awesome and the the painted details like these are so cool the, i think oh i don't know if these the uh, these might be my favorite cedar cerise these might be my favorite cerise shoes I don't know, because Cerise has some pretty awesome shoes in her different doll releases. Um, I have to go back and check it, because I don't know how many Cerise dolls are there total. I think there's four. I might just be guessing a random number. I don't know if there's actually four, if there's more or not. But um, anyway, so yeah, so I think these might be my favorite Cerise shoes. Um, anyway, so let's look at her purse as well. This is cute. It's like a, a, like a wooden basket of some kind, because, you know, Little Red Riding Hood. Ooh. <laughs> where's the sweet spot i don't know where this there it is anyway so um it's like a little wooden basket but then it also has like all the berries and stuff so it's almost like she's got a basket full of berries and flowers and stuff like that for her grandma um you know like she's going to visit her grandma and stuff like that the purse kind of it almost feels hollow and it's kind of got a little bit of give to it but it does not open i tried <laughs> And then, of course, she also has a ring. Hers is really cool because hers straight up looks like a um, a vine or like a um, a vine with thorns on it or something like that wrapping around her hand. See, it's not like it's not actually like a closed circle. So and I left the rubber band on it because I'm afraid that that's going to fall off and I do not want to lose it. But yeah, I love that. And it's the same color as her earrings. So yeah, like I was saying, I think that Cerise is my favorite character to collect the dolls for specifically i just think that I, I don't know how but like i fell in love with the cerise dolls like maddie is my favorite character from ever after high and i think i own every single madeline hatter doll except for that really really tall one um but like cerise is the other one that i try to collect all of the dolls i mean like i said i've got almost all of the ever after high dolls anyway my one of my grail dolls i think i have like two grail dolls at this point and both of them are like one of them is like way out of reach and i don't think i'm gonna get it um but the other one is a little more doable and it is the san diego comic-con cerise hood or i think it's cerise wolf is the name that is actually one of my grail dolls eventually someday i will own that doll i think it is an 
a gorgeous, gorgeous, stunning doll. And the design, and even just the way that she's packaged and displayed, I love it. And I want to have that in my collection so bad. But um, that's that's in the future. <laughs> we'll see if eventually I'm able to find it at a decent price or if I save up and I'm willing to pay the price on eBay for it. But I really, really like that doll and I really want to get it. Um, and I, I, I don't think this is necessarily my favorite Cerise, um, only because... That one is probably my number one favorite, but right after that, I think, is Legacy Day is my favorite Cerise doll, and then this one. I don't know. It's really hard to say because I just, I really like all of the Cerise dolls. Even the, like, the budget lines that they came out, like, there's, like, an Enchanted Picnic one, or, um... Yeah, I think that was the line Enchanted Picnic. Um, I really like that one. I like her outfit. It's super simple, but it's very Little Red Riding Hood, and I love it. So, um, anyway, yeah, I love these dolls so much. It, like, opening these dolls, I just had so much, like, a wave of nostalgia. And, oh, I'm so excited. Like, it, it, it's so nice to kind of open these, even though I, they're not back on the shelf or anything like that. It's not like, you know, Mattel has said they're bringing back Ever After High or anything necessarily, but like, um, just being able to open these and, you know, the, like the way that these boxes are done and, you know, like the little tabs that you pull out one at a time and then remove the outer shell and then, you know, it's just, it brought me back to when I first started collecting because Ever After High was the first doll line that I actively was collecting. Um, I, I had owned dolls before that, but it would be like one doll here and one doll there, or a doll that somebody bought me. Um, but the first line that I actually started collecting actively was Ever After High. And um, I, it's I'm just in a really good mood right now because of the nostalgia. And I still have four more dolls to open and review. So if you want to check those out, make sure you subscribe so that way you don't miss them. Turn on the bell so you do get that notification when these videos are uploaded. Um, I'm going to try my hardest to get all of these videos not only filmed, but also edited in time so that way I can upload all three of them this week. That is my goal. So um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you made it this far in the video. Um, I'm going to get going because now I got to get the next ones <laughs> unboxed. I'm super excited to take a look at them as well. And uh, so I can do a little jig. I don't, I don't know what that was. But anyway, I'm going to get going. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. If you like this video, you can let me know by hitting the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload. I post new videos every week Wednesday, except for when I don't and I post them on Thursday. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.